After a minute or two of loading up, you should be looking at the Snow Leopard installation wizard. Select your language and continue. Before we get started with the installation, however, you'll need to format your hard drive so you can install OS X. From the file menu at the top of the screen, select Utilities, Disk Utility. Once Disk Utility loads, click on your hard drive in the sidebar and select the tab labeled Partition. Set the volume scheme drop down to one partition, unless you have a reason for wanting otherwise. Name the volume whatever you want, and set the format to Mac OS Extended Journaled. Now click the Options button and ensure that GUID Partition Table is selected as the partition scheme. Now that everything's set, hit Apply. When you're prompted for confirmation, click Partition. In 20 seconds or so, your drive should be formatted and you'll be ready to install OS X. Quit Disk Utility and continue with the installer. The installation process from here is completely straightforward, so just follow along with the default settings. This time will vary. It always claims to take 30 plus minutes, but it's normally done in 10 or 20. When the installation finishes, you'll most likely see this install failed screen. Don't panic. This is all part of the process. Just click restart, put iBoot back in the drive, and this time when your computer restarts, iBoot's Chameleon Bootloader will give you the option to boot into your new installation. Select it with the arrow key and hit enter.